Prairie View a and University's College of Nursing began as a two-year diploma program established in 1918, beginning with only five students. Uh, at the time, uh, Prairie View College was the only college available for black students to enter into nursing in the state of Texas. And the requirement at the time was 18 years old and you would have to take an entrance exam and pass that to enter depending on the score that you made to enter the College of Nursing. Nursing students were admitted and trained for the purpose of taking care of the sick under the direction of J.G. Osborne. Influenza has a great history going back to Prairie View. You know, that was kind of like the impetus of, of how Prairie View College of Nursing got started back in 1918 with Dr. J.G. Osborne, who was a, is the father of, if you will, of the program. Millions of people died and hundreds and thousands of individuals died in this country and there were students and faculty who were affected by that same pandemic. The biggest issues that was affecting Prairie View at the time was the lack of trained nurses, if you will. There was no other, there was no hospital. Between the span of 1923 and 1924, more than 7,000 patients were treated at the Prairie View Hospital. In 1922, when the first graduates, um, I could say were born, <laughs> uh, and I believe there were eight of them, eight women, uh, and it was a historic time. And as a result, this this institution has not has not missed a beat. With the program's popularity and growth, the college expands to include a 13,000 square foot Houston high rise facility in 1973. Dr. Thomas uh, took seven students. Uh, to the capital, state capital, Austin, Texas. And at that time, our purpose of going was to go before the House of Appropriations and Means Committee to testify why we felt like we needed to have a college of nursing present here in the Texas Medical Center. I think Dr. Thomas was very instrumental uh, and supportive. And uh, as president of Prairie View in 1968, when I was there, of bringing the College of Nursing uh, forward to where it is today. We were there to get our education, and this is what we did. And it was very challenging, it wasn't easy. We had responsibilities, I feel, we were placed as RNs before we even became a good student nurse. I won't say that there, uh, that were any major problems when I was a student because we had good faculty and good leadership uh, here at the College of Nursing. We did not have simulation technology to help enhance nursing education. And the, that particular technology that we have very much so here at the College of Nursing is helping students to bridge the clinical component with the theoretical component. Uh, one of the things that we noticed uh, in 2000, upon my arrival, that the College of Nursing had a commitment for advancing technology. There were several faculty members who had done some outstanding work. And so at that time, we came in uh, just at the moment when simulation technology was emerging. Uh, to walk in a room with Dr. Isaac Smith and just to see people acknowledge him as the guru of human simulation. I mean, it was like somebody said E.F. Hudden when he speaks, that people put down, they pay attention, they take notes, they're asking questions, learning from his level of expertise. Well, I was a medical corpsman in the military, U.S. Army, 91 Charlie, so I decided to uh, pursue nursing as a career once I got out of the military. I thought about other schools who did not have simulation, and I just could imagine going into a hospital for the first time trying to assess a patient when you have never did it. But basically, I had done it a 100 times on a mannequin, you know, that had someone's voice behind it. And your bones at 17. 17. Uh-huh, yeah, and then I thought your creatinine 0.9. You know, a mannequin who's just a touch of a button, their heart rate could 
drop and then, you know, there's a professor back there to see what you would do. I believe it's very important to have simulation because not only do you get to practice and make your mistakes at simulation, you get to learn things that you might not have learned at clinicals or maybe in your classes. You had a lot of meetings, conferences of visitations from other institutions coming here to Prairie View to watch simulations because it was innovative, it was cutting edge. Rooted in humble beginnings, the Prairie View a University College of Nursing has steadily expanded and evolved from a diploma granted course to that of a world-renowned nursing program. Uh, Prairie View prepared me in infinite ways. As far as academics, they instilled a nature of a cultural in us to learn to be our best, to always put our best foot forward. Uh, from a clinical standpoint, we were provided opportunities to practice in all the facilities in the Houston area, some clinics, some hospitals, different areas, med surge, OB, pediatrics. So we were able to obtain our clinical experiences in the world-renowned Texas Medical Center. Oh my goodness, it overly prepared me. Um, through the interview process, we, we went through that. We, uh, academically, we, I was ahead. Every rotation that I went in, in the medical center, there was a Prairie View A&M College of Nursing graduate that held a leadership position in every single rotation. So it was inspiring just even matriculating through the program because you could see that PV was represented well in the medical center. I know being from Seattle and hearing even up there how um, professional the nurses were who come from Prairie View, how knowledgeable the nurses were who graduated from Prairie View. The word of mouth story definitely had an impact on my decision to come to the College of Nursing. And even when I first graduated, being in the hospital system and the um, managers and even patients finding out that I was a Prairie View graduate, the excitement they had when they found out I came from Prairie View and the expectation they had for me for excellence, knowing that I was a Prairie View graduate, just demonstrated to me um, the impact that Prairie View has had on the profession. The college continues to retain a forward-looking approach in quality, producing over 2,700 graduates who have extensively contributed to the excellence in the nursing and the healthcare delivery industry. It makes you proud. It just make, makes me feel very proud to see the progression of the educational um, uh, gains that have been made by this university. And to, not only just gains, but gains with, with top accomplishments. That it's a great program and everyone should be a part of it. They, they're working, all the professors, all the faculty, they work so hard to keep the school running. And I think that's a great thing because they're molding the future of nursing. I see, again, uh, being a welcoming place for all the young folks who want to become a professional nurse. I was at the top of my game when it was time to apply for jobs. Um, being just competent, I actually had interviews where people were saying that they were looking to hire a Prairie View nurse. So now I'm in the FMP program, I'm almost positive that it's going to be the same. It continues to grow and grow year by year and I've seen it and I'm so thankful I've lived to see how it has become what it is and look forward to the future because each year I can see progress and the students are still want it throughout the country and anywhere they go. If they are from Prairie View, they have a name that follows them to know that we produce productive people.